Splatoon fans, it's time to talk about the ink-filled elephant in the room. With Splatoon 4 potentially on the horizon and whispers of its connection to the Nintendo Switch 2, there's one question every inkling and octoling should be asking. Can Splatoon 4 finally break the cycle that's been holding the franchise back? Let's dive into what needs to change for Splatoon 4 to truly make a splash and become Nintendo's biggest comeback story. The Splatoon franchise is one of Nintendo's freshest and most stylish ships, bringing fast-paced multiplayer chaos to fans around the world. But while the games always deliver a strong launch, the same can't be said for their post-launch support. Players have consistently faced content droughts, leaving even the most loyal fans wondering when or if they'll see new updates. Splatoon 3 was a step in the right direction with its DLC and events, but even that fell short of long-term expectations. The question is, will Splatoon 4 finally turn this around? Splatoon 4 has a huge opportunity to redefine what post-launch support looks like, especially if it launches alongside the Nintendo Switch 2. The Switch 2's early days are crucial for setting the tone of the console, and a revamped Splatoon game could be the flagship title Nintendo needs. Imagine a Splatoon 4 that not only gives us more of what we love epic Splatfists, fresh weapons and stylish gear, but also keeps that momentum going with consistent updates over the years. It's a dream that feels possible, but only if Nintendo commits to a long-term strategy. Here's where things get exciting. Splatoon is practically built for a live service model. The franchise thrives on community engagement with its Splatfists and quirky in-game culture. But to truly embrace this model, Splatoon 4 needs to deliver regular content updates. New maps, modes, cosmetics, and story-driven DLC could keep the community buzzing long after launch. Think of it like Animal Crossing. New Horizons constant updates kept that game alive for years. Why not do the same for Splatoon? Let's not forget, Splatoon is still a relatively young franchise compared to giants like Mario and Zelda. Its success is impressive, but it can't afford to fall into the same pitfalls as its predecessors. If Splatoon 4 follows the same pattern of early hype followed by long stretches of silence, it risks losing the momentum it's worked so hard to build. On the flip side, getting it right could solidify Splatoon as one of Nintendo's most iconic series for years to come. So what's the game plan? For starters, Splatoon 4 needs to embrace a steady stream of smaller updates. New weapons every month, seasonal events, collaborations with other franchises, the possibilities are endless. And let's talk about Splatfists. Instead of just being limited time events, why not tie them into the game's progression system? reward players with exclusive items or even new story content based on their participation. Keep things fresh and players will stick around. The truth is, Splatoon 4 has all the tools it needs to succeed. A vibrant community, a unique gameplay loop, and a dedicated fanbase. The only thing missing is a post-launch plan that lives up to the game's potential. If Nintendo can nail this, Splatoon 4 might not just be a great game. It could be the game that takes the series to the next level.